even in the in the early very early 1900s where you don't have that many uh, Jews in in New York they they sell about a million tickets a year when you think of, of those who don't go by nature uh, too old too frail too young whatever it's a huge percentage and and Jews went to the theater that was their fun I mean, there was a culture of going out in general in the city, because what did you have at home? You had a video, you didn't have television, you didn't have radio, you had nothing. And the apartments were small and oppressive. So the little extra money you had, you went to the theater. There weren't movies. So the theater played a very important role. And, and there was an intensity in it that, that every uptown person who came to, to, to look at this phenomena writes about. Um, that maybe they, they, because it did appeal to, to non-Jews, to uptowners who, who, for whom the, the, as they call it, the ghetto was the new frontier. So where could they go see Jews? Where could they see this culture? Going into a synagogue is a little problematic. It wasn't done at the time. Or if the mayor wanted to do some political work, he wouldn't go to a synagogue. But the theater was there, the most spectatorial place you can think of. So the theater mattered. It, it, it was very much part of life. And the songs were very popular. They were sung again and again and again. And then uh, as soon as Jews had a little extra money, they would buy a piano and they would buy uh, music and play it at home. So yeah, that, 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 if you think of it in today's term, you combine television and radio and DVDs and you name it, all the home entertainment that we're so used to, it all took place in a theater.